Hi, today we are going to cover um, background worker and see how we can use it and how it can benefit us to have a very responsive uh, UI for the user to interact. For first, let's see how it ha how it works if we don't use background worker. So let's say we have a long task. So when we click on a button. the button background worker let's say we have a long task to call which takes a parameter let's say number of times we call it Let's use the for loop. That's the basic for loop for us. And here, what we are going to do is we're making the thread to sleep. For one second. Thousand means one thousand millisecond, that is equal to one second and we can include using system the threading to use the thread and then let's see we can use console to to monitor what's happening processing item i equal to like this So that's what it is. So now if I call this, it's going to execute this for 10 times. So it's going to sleep for 10 seconds and you will see that how screen freezes out. If I run it, click on the button and you can see that I cannot move this window anymore. But you can see how it's doing something in, in there. That's why it's making the UI unresponsive until, unresponsive until the, it finishes. That's the reason for using background worker thread, which will make it uh, more user friendly. So what you can do here is you can actually use a background worker. So we're going to use a background worker. Worker. And of course, you need to include system.componentModel it's declared so now let's say worker equal to new initialize it and then you tell worker what you need to do do work and what i want it to work is i want to pass the two arguments object and event arguments and i will say this call long task which you were calling before and pass the parameter to it and that's it so that's what tells it that call this by just telling it to include it but doesn't really call it so the next step is that it we need to actually call it so worker dot run worker async so that means it's called in async mode that means you have the screen available for you to do other things while this goes on in the background let's say now we start it and run it and you can see it started here but screen still is very responsive and that actually gives the benefit of background worker where you can actually start something but still can do something else it kind of gives you um, a feeling that that's doing something where it's, it's not really making it freeze or and user getting frustrated because uh, nothing is working on the screen.